to Lawn Porn. Welcome to the school project. This is uh, what I've been doing uh, since about October as I help out some local schools at Port Augusta. And this is my main one, a nice, beautiful 650 square metre area of uh, Eureka Kaikuya from the turf farm. The soil was from Heinrichs at uh, Port Perry, but most of it actually came from uh, Garden Grove. This area is looking absolutely lovely. Got a nice irrigation system from Reese uh, Irrigation. Haven't done anything to this lawn except water it and mow it. And while it's looking good on the camera, it is starting to look a bit thin and some of the colors are just starting to, uh, you know, show uh, that uh, it's a need of some fertilization. So I thought this is a great opportunity, seeing as we've got the autumn program coming up, that we start looking after it and do exactly what we're doing on the autumn program to this. Now that's no easy task. This is 650, well, 630 meters squared, if we're gonna to get totally technical of Kaikuya. Today I'm going to do what would be day one of the program which is moist and history which is an insecticide. Now I'm using that at the school, it's totally safe once it's watered in for pets or anyone walking on it. The only thing is if you've got uh, things like chickens or animals grazing on your lawn uh, don't use history. So I had a great time in the Air Peninsula meeting all the egg store owners and everything like that and having a big talk to them. Now the main thing I've got from it is that they're really enthusiastic about the product but not exactly sure how to use it. So it's really information, information, information is, is what uh, everybody is screaming out. I've tried to simplify yet again the uh, seasonal program, which will be on www.lawnpornonline.com. It will be on our main page, but it's also on the programs and tips section. Well, anyway, let's stop yabbering and uh, let's get trimming. Even in harsh and very arid climates, you can grow lawn with lawn porn following my program and tips. So I'm gonna do an edge trim mow first and then put some moist soil wetter down, some history for the bugs and four seasons for fertilizing. So this is the edger and anything green makes it go. It's got two speeds here. I got it on the second speed for the most power. And that's your quick release. And that turns it on as you can see. If you use that by itself, it's not gonna work. I've got the smallest battery in here. This has done this area once already. And the battery didn't fail me on the second go either. This is a great tool and it's a real life changer for me. Really good tool this. Fantastic. All right, now it's the whippersnippers turn. Straight into it. Same setup with this. That won't work by itself. You've got to have that and that to make it work. Green means go. We like it. The power load trimmer has loads of power and can get through some pretty hectic jobs. Very impressed with this tool. Nice and light. And once again, uh, this was the second go on the battery from farm. There we go. Nice. So this is the Honda HRU 216 VYU. <laughs> Have to think about that. Okay, so it's a self-propelled mower. Nice big uh, entry for putting your fuel in. Nice and easy. That's stop, that's slow and that's fast. So just get that to slow and pull the ripcord, it's not hard. Sweet as. Now I've got a drive control here. Boom, you just press that and off it goes. Very nice. To get started, give it some revs, push that down. There you go, you'll hear the difference there. After doing my trim pass, I did my main pattern and Look, this is a uh, fantastic mower. Can't speak highly enough about it. It's doing this big area quite easily, leaving a nice clean cut with the twin blade system. This is coming up beautifully. Just a beautiful, even cut. These steps are a real feature now. Just, just how nice it is. 
Okay, I better stop procrastinating and rip straight into the treatment. March, day one, moist soil wetter for our soil wetting. History for the bug treatment, that'll last three months and we put four seasons down straight away. Look at this beast, eh? The BA Pumps and Sprayers Greenskeeper Sprayer. Fantastic for large areas as so. These come out. As you can see, out it comes. That'll give me a nice 1.5 metre spread. This is a 75 litre tank. So I need to calibrate this. So I need to know how much water it will use for a pass. I filled up the sprayer with 60 litres of water and the spray pass that I did, just the water only spray pass, was about half. So I used 30 litres of water for my area. So that's the amount of water I'm gonna use for my treatment. Click the top right video to learn how to calibrate your sprayer and use lawn porn products. Okay, a check of the weather. Willy weather has got it that's 28 degrees. It says a top of 33, but it's 143 in the Arvo. I don't think it's going to get much hotter. Now yeah, we'll check the wind. Wind is currently 11.1 kilometres an hour, which is good. Um, needs to be under 20 kilometres an hour for the spray to be uh, not affected too much so that's nice all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put 30 litres of water in here but first off I'm putting half the amount of water in so 15 litres of water then I'll put my chemical in and I'll start agitating then and then I'll put the other 15 Lord 15 litres of water while it's agitating all right Alright, 1.2 litres of moist, 60 mils of history. 1.2 litres of moist, in it goes. And 60 mils of history for those bugs. Excellent stuff. Water number two. Beautiful, hardly spilled a drop that time. So go out and spray your area just the same as you did as your water only pass, but this time it's with the chemicals. You'll notice I'm wearing some PPE. So four seasons, that's where it's at. It's a dual controlled release. It's got iron in there for a bit of green. So slow release nitrogen, slow release potassium. 3% FE will give it that dark, deep dark green up to 16 weeks feed. This time of the year though, you probably only get about six to eight because it's warmer. Put down your four seasons, two kilos to 100 square metres in a nice even fashion. And after this, we'll water in. Nicely left this open for me. So, I can manually do zones, and there's two zones here. So we'll do the inside ones first. Right, zone two, give it 20 minutes. Run, swing this around. Pop out. There it is. Start watering that puppy in. So we're watering that product in. We'll do 20 minutes on the insides, 20 minutes on the outsides, and then 20 minutes, 20 minutes again, just so it goes in nice and evenly. So the school project's looking pretty neat. That's what you do day one of March. Put moist and history down, and then put four seasons down and water it in. It's just really looking magnificent. Fantastic. Just beat the wind too. How good does that look? Very hard, actually. It's hard work. That's looking real neat, Chilorna. You can find our autumn program on lawnpornonline.com. Follow my journey week to week and all the information's in the program. And make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to follow my journey. Get Chilorna. Des, by the way. Hello. This is Des. Um, he's uh, he's my my driver for the tour. No, he's actually the Bar Mac rep. Um, all the landmark stores and all the all the different independent stores that he's visiting because uh, we're doing our lawn porn products for him to get it through to these uh, small rural stores. But this is this is Warren Boo, and um, 
just past it really it's only some silos yep. and some housing but this I, I, I actually work we're going to lock um, which is right in the middle of the air peninsula I worked in lock for four months uh, at uh, around about uh, 2011 and uh, late 2011 start of 2012 I was um, working at lock uh, even though my family was in Wyala and uh, I was a mad cyclist at the time, uh, training up for the uh, state time trial in 2012. Uh, so I had a time trial bike and I used to time trial every morning, almost every morning anyway, uh, from uh, Lock to Warrenboo, which was about, uh, there and back was about uh, 40 odd kilometers. So um, I used to train for that and I ended up winning the time trial, uh, the state time trial for um, my age group and uh, which was the 39 to 45 age group I think um, at the time and uh, yeah I, I won that race I was the state champion which is so cool um, certainly wouldn't be able to do anything like that now be uh, last but this was the road that I used to train on and uh, it was quite a nice uh, nice little road seeing some nice country at the time uh, to train on 